real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ahara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A uh, deception? Are you familiar with Ahara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ahara-san groped? So you do know her then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with Ahara-san, as in she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun, and as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry. I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me... How are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock. And until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you. I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself.
Nagami-san. Yagami-san. Hey, Sari-san, it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino-kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru-kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes. And to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza, though he never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girls' bar. But we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. But their leader, Soma, said something about Kawai having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. How was it, Sari-san? What did Yagami-san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. 
Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawhi, could it have something to do with our case as well? I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawhi. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. You don't mean you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawhi. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still. I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? If you're going out alone, keep your wits about you, and get back safe. Oh, is that Sari-chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Tok's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. 
I guess you can stay. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <sighs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with RK? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh please, you two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your... Look, some nice clothes and a little makeup and you'd be unstoppable. Finally, my turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri-chan, you could put every hostess in Kamurocho to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well... A good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Oh, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay, then leave the rest to me.
Would you look at that? Doc was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. Are you sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're dynamite. Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of a girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senrio Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> Are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother.
Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? We're already out for a drink. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. There's a place my buddy runs. He'll be thrilled to see some ladies like you. Let's be real here. You're RK, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asks if you're in a gang? Come on, it was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be RK. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, you know? True. Guess we do got that RK swag. I mean, yeah. We're just out here playing the game, you know? <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if your ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. You boys certainly talk a good game. RK knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the RK ladder then, huh? Not just the local chumps? Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. Shoot. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. R.K. has Kamrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Now the underground world is a jungle. Winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girls bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. Oh <laughs> well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. That's not even news in Kamrocho. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. Name was Koi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa, what do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. I guess he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. Who knows, right? It was five years ago. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. 
At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? I mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh shit! You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawhi. So who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? Let go of her! Who sent you? I'm Saori Shirosaki, attorney at law. Unhand me this instant. Ooh. You're gonna sue? You think I give a crap about what your job is? I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. You even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? What the? Ah! Beat it, punk. The guy she saw. Asshole! I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um... No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own. Especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait, how do you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki. From Genda Law Office? It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki Sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki Sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshiba. Two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Alright, thanks.
Yagami san. Yeah. Yagami san. I guess so. I'm sorry. By the way. Yes. Well. In other words... So, to sum it up... No... Well... Unbelievable. No. Huh. Yes. I see.
Hey! Right. Well... Guess. Yes.
Now that you mention it. No, 